Well, hey there, folks, and welcome to a very unique episode of Lutherville. This is actually something that I probably should have done a long time ago, but I never did. So let me show you some of the sketches and the ideas that I have uh, for my tiny house. So this is a 3D rendering in Google SketchUp, which I highly recommend uh, if you're interested in doing this sort of thing and building this kind of project. Uh, you should probably use something like this. So this kind of shows um, what the platform is going to look like here for the bedroom area. As you can see, it should be all steel underneath. Uh, it should have a nice kind of steel grating on the bottom. And it kind of extends out over this angled part, uh, but it doesn't quite cover up the hitch because the hitch needs to be able to move up and down. So if we look at it from a more vertical standpoint, uh, like right here, you can see that the hitch still has some clearance there. So that's what the bedroom top area looks like. And uh, this is the regular deck. And then as you can see, there are also these two uh, big ramps that are on the back of the trailer. And if you've seen the other videos uh, that I've done, you've seen uh, the real life version of this minus the platform, which uh, is still actually getting built. So uh, once again, this should give you a good idea of what that's gonna look like. Now, <clears throat> the full exterior is gonna look kind of like this. So as you can see, uh, we're keeping one of the ramps intact and the other one, this is just kind of a representation. I was thinking I could have some storage area underneath there, but this ramp is basically removed and that's storage in that space. And then uh, we have the motorcycle will be attached on the porch area. Uh, we have solar panels, uh, you can see right there. And we got a couple windows on this side, a couple windows over here. I'm not really good with Google SketchUp. That's why this looks a little funky inside here. Like some of these, <laughs> some of these lines are looking a little bit odd because I couldn't figure out how to quite make the thing work the way I wanted to. But as you can see, there's a slight angle to the roof. Um, once again, we can see how the platform here kind of extends over the neck area of the trailer. And uh, yeah, there's obviously uh, also a roof here that the roof comes all the way out to cover up the porch section. Uh, so that's totally porched in. And um, yeah, so here you can see that ramp is still able to move up and down. And speaking of that, here is an image of what it would look like with the ramp in the down position. So when it's down, you can drive the motorcycle up or take the motorcycle off. And then when it is in the up position, uh, the ramp looks like that. And that also allows you to access uh, this rear door. So here's another thing that I wanted to show uh, because this I think is kind of interesting. I wanna have water tanks inside. So uh, these layers kind of represent what that's going to be like, which means uh, the floor is going to have to be raised up quite a bit. So this gray represents the flashing. Uh, this kind of beige brown kind of thing represents uh, the wood of the flooring. And then this represents the water tank. And then on top is the hardwood floors. So that's probably going to mean that you're going to need a step out here on the outside, which I do not show in this version of the exterior. As you can see, there's no step there, but yeah, it's probably going to require something like that um, when we're actually putting it together because otherwise uh, it's going to be too high. The floor is going to be raised up too much. So uh, that's most of it. And finally, the interesting part, the interior. So now you can see what this rear door and this rear section is going to be. Uh, that's basically like a little kind of tool shed, I'm calling it, uh, where I'll have some tools in there, be able to store a bicycle in there. And then this section in here is the bathroom that has the bathtub and it has a toilet and a sink. And this is kind of the living room area, which will also have a kitchen sort of stuff. And then finally, uh, of course, the bedroom thing is up on the platform. So there you go. So that gives you a good idea of my whole uh, Galatea Meridian layout and what my plans are and what they uh, should hopefully be building <laughs> according to these plans at, uh, at good old Tennessee tiny homes in uh, Tennessee just outside of Memphis. So, yep, hope you enjoy this video. It's kind of a quick one, uh, but I hadn't done an update for a while, so I thought I would 
give you folks something to check out. But uh, there you go. Now you can see uh, what the layout is going to be like. Lutherville is an educational series inspiring kids and adults to become excited about innovations in science and technology by documenting the design and construction of a Mojave Desert homestead called Galatea Meridian. Witness the crazy story of how Eric Muss Barnes, an unemployed computer geek and struggling novelist, risks homelessness by spending most of his life savings to build an off-grid dream house in the middle of nowhere. Having purchased vast acres of the Old West, can Eric find a stable job and create his home before his money runs out? Take a journey where fortitude and a pioneering spirit continue to forge the American dream on the romantic landscape of the American frontier.